A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a significant escalation of the ongoing conflict in the Middle East, two senior Hezbollah commanders were killed in an Israeli airstrike on Friday, marking a critical moment in the region's enduring strife. The Israeli military confirmed that the targeted attack, which struck an apartment block in Beirut, resulted in the deaths of at least 31 individuals, including 15 members of the Iranian-backed militia. The airstrike has raised concerns about the potential for broader regional conflict as tensions continue to mount. Hezbollah, the Lebanese militia group, identified the slain commanders as Ibrahim Akel and Ahmed Wabi. Akel, 61, was the head of Hezbollah's elite Radwan force, a unit known for its specialized operations against Israel. His death is particularly notable as he was wanted by the U.S. for his involvement in the 1983 bombing of the U.S. Embassy in Beirut, which killed 63 people, and the attack on the U.S. Marine Corps barracks that resulted in the deaths of 231 American personnel. Wabi, 59, had been a long-standing member of Hezbollah, joining the organization during its inception in the early 1980s. He played a crucial role in training fighters within the Radwin unit and was instrumental in supporting Hamas following the group's assault on Israel on October 7. The airstrike that killed him and Akel was described by Israeli forces as a targeted operation against the masterminds of plans to attack northern Israel amidst the ongoing conflict in Gaza. The airstrike in Beirut was the third significant blow to Hezbollah within just four days. Earlier, an explosion believed to be caused by an Israeli strike on the group's communication devices resulted in over 30 casualties and hundreds of injuries. The recent series of attacks highlights the intense military pressure being exerted on Hezbollah, amidst fears that the conflict could spiral into a larger regional war. The Israeli Defense Forces IDF, stated that the airstrike targeted an underground meeting of Hezbollah leaders, effectively dismantling much of the group's military command structure. This operation has raised questions about the future of Hezbollah's involvement in the ongoing conflict, particularly as it relates to its alliance with Hamas. The broader implications of these developments are significant, as both Hezbollah and Hamas are part of a regional militia network known as the Axis of Resistance, which is also supported by Iran. This network includes various militant groups operating in Syria, Iraq, and Yemen, all of which have been involved in the ongoing hostilities against Israel. In the wake of the airstrikes, Hezbollah has continued to launch retaliatory rocket attacks into northern Israel, with around 150 rockets fired on Friday alone. The Israeli military has responded with airstrikes targeting Hezbollah positions in Lebanon, further escalating the cycle of violence. The situation remains volatile, with many analysts suggesting that Hezbollah may face a difficult decision in the coming days. Former Israeli intelligence officer Avi Melamed indicated that the group must weigh its options carefully, whether to continue its aggressive posture or consider a diplomatic arrangement that could de-escalate tensions. Hezbollah's leadership is also under pressure from Iran, which may be seeking to broker a deal that would allow for the safe return of hostages taken during the October 7 attacks, while also seeking to end the ongoing war in Gaza. This complex web of alliances and hostilities underscores the precarious nature of the situation in the region. As the conflict continues to unfold, the death of these key Hezbollah commanders represents not only a tactical loss for the group, but also a potential turning point in the broader struggle for power and influence in the Middle East. The ramifications of these events will likely be felt for years to come, as regional actors reassess their strategies and alliances in light of the shifting dynamics on the ground. The international community watches closely as the situation develops, with concerns growing over the humanitarian impact of the ongoing conflict and the potential for further escalation. The loss of life and the destruction wrought by the recent airstrikes have drawn attention to the urgent need for diplomatic solutions to the crisis, as the cycle of violence threatens to engulf the region in a broader war. As Hezbollah mourns the loss of its leaders, the group's future actions will be closely scrutinized. Will they double down on their commitment to the fight against Israel, or will they seek a path towards negotiation and peace? The answer to this question may determine the course of the conflict in the weeks and months ahead, as the Middle East remains on a knife's edge, teetering between war and an elusive peace. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.